Finance Act 2023. Motorists and passengers have today begun feeling the pinch of the recently enacted finance law after Matatu owners announced implementation of new fare hikes starting today. Our reporter Clement Masumbo is on this particular issue and joins us live from Nyeri. Masumbo, what are the passengers saying about these new fares? Well, good afternoon to you. Yes, it's true indeed that uh, that uh, announcement by the Matatu Owners Association of implementation of new fare hikes has already taken effect and uh, in, Nyeri, uh, in Nyeri County and even other towns across the country passengers have already started feeling the effect of that uh, finance act that is uh, that be, that was uh, that came to effect on 1st of July and uh, earlier on speaking to passengers flying uh, the various routes uh, traveling to various destinations across the country they were complaining of uh, increased fares because uh, for those who were used to traveling to places like uh, Nairobi initially they were paying uh, 500 shillings but today when they go to the bus stages they were told that uh, the fare has risen to about to 600 and uh, those uh, traveling to uh, pl other places like Nakuru right now where I am I'm at the bus stage where Matatu is applying the Nakuru route uh, operate from and here I've realized that uh, the fare from uh, Nyeri to Nakuru has actually risen from uh, 600 to 670 shillings that's about uh, seven Seven, an increase of uh, 70 shillings and uh, right now I want to engage some of the passengers here and see if at all they will uh, agree to speak to us Karibia pa mzee tuzungumza kidogo tueleza kusu mabadiliko ya hii na uli ya kutoka nyeri kuelekea na kuru kama uneza shuka tu tafadhali utueleze jina lako umefika hapu unaelekea wapi na umefika hapu ukambiwa fair ni ngapi kutofauti na hili ambayo umezo ya kulipa wea kwa majina ni James Wajohi na kutoka hapa kutoka na hapa nyeri kupaka na kuru ni 670 sasa hatukona chinda sana juu hata mapato sio file tunalipichwa ile mapato tunapata ni kidogo sasa hata tunalalamika karibu sisi wote sasa tunachidwa hii serikali kweli inatupeleka na mna gani mmm mafuta juu kila kitu ni juu mm. tunachidwa sana yeah. Wa ulikuwa ulikuwa unalipa pesa ngapi na sasa kabla ikuja hapo 670 nimekaa sana bila kukuja hapa lakini wakati nilikuwa hapa nilikuwa nimelipa 550 yeah mm. leo umefika kukambiwa ni 670 yeah, ni 670 leo yeah okay, sawa shukrani sana we, I, I, let me get another passenger here if at all he will accept also to speak to us eh ndugu karibia hapa kidogo tu Tueleze jina lako na pia vile umeathirika na hii mabadiliko ya nauli kutoka nyeri kuelekea na kuru eh, Naito wa Brian Jogu Nauli ni meona iko mzuri eh, Lakini naona kawa wameongeza kidogo eh, eh. Na we kama mkenya unahisije kusu eh, eh, iyo ngezeko ya nauli Si, si po eh. Kwa hivyo ombi lako kwa serikali ni wa watu angalie wapunguze at least kitu kaa hiyo yeah. okay sawa so, shukran sana let me also uh, speak to another gentleman here if Bro, udeza zungumza na siki dogo kuhusu change as a fair. Okay, sawa. So, uh, that one is not uh, willing to speak to us. But uh, as you have heard or heard also, earlier on spoken to some of these uh, stakeholders in this matatu sector, and they were telling that, telling us that uh, they have no option other than uh, raising the matatu fares, uh, bus fare, uh, slightly because they also understand, they also feel the pain that the common monenchi is feeling. And they say it is as a result of that uh, uh, increment of uh, VAT charge on uh, few petroleum products and especially fuel because uh, under that uh, Finance Act of 2023 it was uh, recommended and uh, approved that uh, the VAT charged on fuel be increased from the, uh, the f uh, previous 8% to 16% and that is what resulted to uh, increase in some of these uh, is, 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 is some of these uh, that's, that's actually the effect that now the common monenchi and passengers and uh, as well as operators here in transport sector are also feeling so we will also be engaging other stakeholders and the chairman uh, of uh, various uh, circles that operate here in Nyeri County to get their views on uh, what they think about the current situation in the country. Over to you. All right, thank you very much, Clement Masombo, all the way from Nyeri. Now, two years ago,
I worked on a story about retirement in Kenya. Uh, then Leila Kula had just retired and was venturing into the world beyond. Let's take a look. <laughs> 